Water is life. But what happens after we use it? Proper wastewater management is the key to a healthier environment and a sustainable future. As urban populations grow, so does the challenge of managing wastewater efficiently. In the heart of Nairobi, a transformative project has just been completed, one that will redefine sanitation services for millions. For years, the city has faced immense challenges in wastewater management. Inadequate infrastructure has led to pollution, environmental degradation, and health risks for communities. The Dandora Estate Sewer Treatment Plant Project, spearheaded by Fatah Construction and Civil Works Limited under the Athi Water Works Development Agency, is the largest sewer treatment facility ever built by a local Kenyan company. Dandora Estate Wastewater Treatment Plant constitutes a series of ponds uh, with inlet works from the other end. Uh, there are eight existing series of ponds uh, treating all the sewer, water and industrial uh, as wastes from Nairobi uh, City County. So the capacity uh, to treat uh, went lower over time and so the client or the employer at the Waterworks Development Agency decided to include an extra series to ease off the pressure over the existing eight number series. This ambitious project, funded by the Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation includes a 20,000 cubic meters per day wastewater treatment system, state-of-the-art anaerobic, facultative and maturation ponds, modern sewerage treatment auxiliary works. The inlet channel is made of concrete and our first structure here is a sluice gate that basically controls flow from the existing channel and a flow divider structure. So we just take the right amount to treat 10,000 cubic uh, meter of water per day. So the 10,000 cubic meters of water is conducted through the concrete channel. Uh, the concrete inlet channel is a 2 meters by 1.5 meters rectangular channel made of concrete. It is 621 meters long and it brings the wastewater all the way to the distribution chamber. In the distribution chamber or the main distribution chamber, the water divides three ways in order now to flow into the three anaerobic ponds. So the first of the flow is where we are standing now, which is the second anaerobic pond. It is the central, the middle anaerobic pond. Uh, it has two pipes that distribute the water both ways. As you can see the flow, these, these are the first, first drops of the water we have just opened uh, the sluice gate. All the anaerobic ponds are similar with twin pipes helping distribute the wastewater. So in the anaerobic pond where we are standing, there is the physical element of wastewater treatment. It starts here, where the gravity flow allows now the suspended solids to settle on the ground via a process called sedimentation. So over time, as the ponds fill up with water, the suspended solids will travel down the 4.7 meters to the surface. So the solids will be trapped on the surface and then the liquids, the cleaner liquids will be on top. And now from there, the cleaner liquids free, free of the solids will move to the next treatment, uh, that is the facultative pond. 
there is an, a, a ramp, an access ramp that allows vehicles that uh, will do the maintenance of the sludge to come in and scoop the sludge and move out. There is also a sampling platform where quality control measures are taken to measure the, 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 the quality of water over time at different depths. And there are two outlet chambers that now conduct the water out into the facultative pond. So each anaerobic pond has two outlet chambers and each of the outlet chamber has two pipes. So a number of 12 pipes, a total number of 12 pipes assists distribute the water into the facultative pond. Having distributed the water now, the biological processes kick in. At the anaerobic ponds we had a, an overall depth of 4.7 meters. At the facultative pond, we have an overall depth of 2.2 meters. Effective 1.7 meters uh, with a free board of 0 0.5 meters. So the biological process happening at the facultative pond is now the aerobic digestion of waste where algae and aerobic bacteria work hand in hand. And uh, as the algae which are green in color continue doing their photosynthetic process during the day uh, with the shallow pond to allow light to get to the algae then they produce the oxygen that is used by the bacteria to digest the waste so there is a biological process happening all the way uh, into the longitudinal section of the facultative pond. It is the biggest pond, of course exposing a bigger surface area to the to the sun for the biological process to, to proceed. So the detention time again uh, is important between 30 to, to 40 days at the facultative and uh, 30 again days at the anaerobic pond and then from the facultative pond the matter now is conducted through a series of pipes into the first maturation pond. There are three maturation ponds in series. So from one maturation pond to the next, to the next, macropiles biologically now digest the nutrients uh, to finally uh, finish the process of wastewater treatment. Uh, from the last maturation pond, the third maturation pond, the water now is conducted uh, through an outlet channel which is made of concrete to the existing outlet channel that now takes the treated water to the river. Uh, we ensure that as the design process proceeds, as the wastewater is treated, it is expected that the effluent now should meet NEMA standards of effluent discharge as captured in the Water Act. The project isn't just about infrastructure, it's about impact. It will significantly reduce pollution, ensuring cleaner rivers and safer environments for generations to come. Ina shiri tumekuwa huko tumekuwa na pit latrine. Sasa hiyo hizi pit latrine zetu zinaja. Sikija zinaanza ku flow. Ndio hatuna vile ina hiyo siwe jinaenda. Tulikuwa na wanyama wengi sana, hii ma hippo security <laughs> maji na inakuja paka huko sasa kutembea ilikuwa ngumu kwa ajili pondi zimejaa lakini tangu sasa vile wamekuja hii tunafurahia kwa ajili sasa maji itajaa itakuja huko kwetu hiyo pondi yani siwe jita kuja pande hii nashukuru serikali vile imeleta maendeleo kama hii hapa huko kwetu sasa tunaona tukiona tunaona mwangaza kupata sewer line 
sasa tu tuko zetu tuko tuingiza huko tutapatua siwa na ndio itaingia huko sasa tutakuwa kama watu wa Nairobi sasa you reckon that sanitation is one of the pillars under Kenya's vision 2030 and so making Nairobi and its environs clean means lesser waterborne diseases and better living standards for the citizens. So the project commenced on October 3rd, 2020. You remember that was the period when COVID had really hit the country and the entire globe. And so we faced a myriad of challenges. It was envisaged to end within 18 months, uh, but now it has taken almost 52 months to complete the project. Uh, among the challenges that COVID-19 brought uh, was transportation of materials, the welfare for workers now that we had the control on movement under the Public uh, Health Act. And also there were challenges uh, to do with safety of workers as they moved in and out of work. The other main challenge was we faced a lot of hard rocks and so a lot of excavation was required to the extent that we had to employ other means apart from the earth moving equipment. We had to do blasting as a special way to do uh, excavation in a, in a fast manner. But as we moved into the project that lessened and we were able now to make milestones and that is how we have been able to successfully conclude the project within around 52 months. We are glad for the government of Kenya having offered us an opportunity through the Waterworks Development Agency to impact our society positively. This project has had far-reaching positive impacts to the society. We have been able to offer employment to the youth um, and also deal with gender mainstreaming issues. We have had ladies who have been employed here even as earth moving operators, uh, equipment operators. We have had drivers, we have had even them uh, engaged in the manual labor with our concrete gangs. Fata construction ha has also been elated to be given the opportunity to impact Nairobi as a city. Now that it is growing every day in leaps and bounds, we are able now to deal with the issue of wastewater treatment here. So as the country grows, as Nairobi grows, the wastewater challenge is handled uh, properly because now with increased capacity using this new plant, then we expect that um, the sewer emanating from the city will be more effectively handled at this plant. Fatah Construction and Civil Works Limited has demonstrated resilience, expertise and dedication. This isn't just a project, but a legacy of innovation, sustainability and local excellence. Uh, Fata Construction is a premier construction company in the water and sanitation business in the country. We have positioned ourselves as a major contractor in both the government-funded and donor-funded infrastructure projects across the country. Fata has successfully completed projects, over 20 projects, in uh, major urban towns, that is in Nairobi, Nakuru, Naivasha, Kisumu, Kilifi, Kakamega, Kitui, Machakos, and many other major towns. Very recently, we completed and handed over the project for the rehabilitation and expansion of Dandora wastewater treatment plant with a capacity of 20,000 metric cubic per day, serving 5 million people. The project was a major success, and uh, we are proud of what we've done and delivered so far. We are extremely grateful to Athi Waterworks Development Agency for their support and for the trust uh, in our company. This was the first project of its kind to be done by a local company. A cleaner Nairobi, a healthier future. Dandora Estate Sewer Treatment Plant Project. Built for Kenya by Kenya.